The Ryan Opera Center and our artists have benefited so greatly by having Sir Andrew here at Lyric as our music director. One of the many ways in which Sir Andrew has worked with the Ryan Opera Center over the years is with master classes. I love to work with them. I do find it very rewarding personally, and, uh, and I hope they get something out of it too. Because if you're going to have a really successful career, then you have to have every aspect of your craft absolutely in your bones, you know, and I think that's what we aim to do, right? <laughs> I'm Anthony Reed. I'm a bass. I will be singing La Vendetta uh, from Marriage of Figaro. You want to just set this up? Tell us what happened in this last little recit with Marcellina. In this scene, Marcellina has come in uh, with a contract because her and Figaro had worked out uh, an arrangement that Figaro is not able to pay on, and the collateral is. Uh, his hand in marriage to Marcellina, and she wants to, Marcellina wants to ensure that Figaro makes good on that wish, so she's come to the lawyer, and of course, I want revenge on Figaro because he's taken my lovely Rosina away from me, so I'm happy to oblige. Very good, yes. That's very well summed up. Thank you. <laughs> so just, just to the, bene io tutto farò. Mm -hmm. Bene, io tutto farò senza riserve, tutto a me palesate. Avrei pur gusto di dar per moglie la mia servantica, a chi mi fece un dirra per la vita. Yeah, now, it's good. So, that's a little too cantato okay. for me. Uh, I mean, and you can, you know, you come, come to the final cadence, you can do that a bit more, so that's fine, but... So... Bene, io tutto farò, senza riserve, tutto a me pelesate. So it needs to be a little more parlando. Just do it again from the mm. beginning. Okay. Bene, io tutto farò, senza riserve, tutto a me pelesate. Good. Avrei pur gusto di dar per moglie la mia servantica a chi mi fece un dirra per l'amica. Yeah, per uh, l'amica. Is that more uh, like... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, a, a little less arioso, a tiny bit. It's just... Is it more, more emphasis on the rapir or like l'amica? You know, <laughs> is it more angry or is it more... Uh, well, that caressing? Uh, no, I think it's more angry, okay. probably. Yeah, you don't, you know, it's, you know, in the context of this whole conversation, you don't get, suddenly get starry-eyed, you know? <laughs> so, so I think, yes, I think keep that little bit of bite. irritation. Yeah. Oh, well, one more time, yeah. Bene, io tutto farò, senza riserve, tutto a me palesate. Avrei pur gusto di dar per moglie la mia servantica, a chi mi fece un dirra per l'amica. Good. La vendetta, oh la vendetta. Dovessi volgere se tutto l'indice dovessi leggere con un equivoco, con un sinonimo, qualche garbuglio si troverà. Se tutto il codice dovessi volgere se tutto l'indice dovessi leggere con un equivoco, con un sinonimo, qualche garbuglio si troverà. Qualche garbuglio si troverà. Si troverà. You got a lot.
lot of the a lot of what I think needs to be in there very well. I suppose what I'd like to feel a little bit more is pomposity, perhaps is the word. Yeah. But I, you've got a lot of nuances into it already. Um, and it's, it's, you know, as, as, as they are, as go in this opera, it's a fairly conventional one, except then when you have Colastuzia. Colastuzia. <laughs> so, although he's pompous, he's also got this sort of devilry about him, you know. Right. It, the thing about this art, it comes very early in the opera, and I think it's important to establish kind of his character, because he is pompous, but he's also, he's got that, uh, what the Italians called furbo, you know, which means uh, sly, you know, there's right. that. And the, the, all the patter stuff was excellent, excellent. All that, very well controlled. Um, and I like that. Maybe when you do, when you come out of that, yeah. and then really sort of to, to make it contrast with that to make yeah. you know very 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 long and then give him time um, then the question is after when you do tutta Sevilla conosce Bartolo. Now, um, then of course the, the orchestra plays piano, il, il birbo figaro. So, I mean, do you follow that or do you not follow it? Um, I, I think you could sort of, in a way you can, you do il birbo figaro, but, but without losing the intensity of it. Straight in the beginning of our effort. La vendetta, oh, la vendetta, è un piacer servato ai santi, è un piacer servato ai santi. Could you roll the R there? More R. R yeah, criterio. Col criterio. Yeah, good. Good. Uh, Col astuzia. Col astuzia. Col arguzia. Yeah. Um, Col arguzia. I, I like. Misterioso. Yeah, you, well, uh, yes, and uh, it's. It, I mean, again, I was talking about you being an old man. Uh, you're doing color good, color good. I mean, you know, not <laughs> just so it's a little darker. Yep. The, right, the feeling's right, but just color, make the color a little bit darker. Try to do it again. Color scuzia. Color scuzia. Yeah. Col giudizio. Col criterio si potrebbe, si potrebbe con l'astuzia, con l'arguzia, col giudizio, col criterio, si potrebbe, si potrebbe, si potrebbe, si potrebbe. Il fatto è serio, il fatto è serio, il fatto è serio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
even that, I think, is sort of too lyrical. Margaretis <laughs> Ivara. Okay. Right there. Margaretis Ivara. There you go. Margaretis Ivara. Sei tutto il codice dovessi volgere, sei tutto l'indice dovessi leggere, con un equivoco, con un sinonimo, qualche garbuglio si troverà. Sei tutto il codice dovessi volgere, sei tutto l'indice dovessi leggere, con un equivoco, con un sinonimo, qualche garbuglio si troverà. Qualche garbuglio si troverà, si troverà. Tutta Sibilia conosce Bartolo, il birbo figaro. Good. Vostro sarà tutta Sibilia conosce Bartolo, il birbo figaro. Vostro sarà. Yeah, just it's a tiny thing. It, if you can play Figaro, it's a bit triplety. Figaro, oh, il yes. birbo Figaro. Il birbo Figaro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tutta Sevilla. The first one? First time. Tutta Sevilla conosce Bartolo, il birbo Figaro. Vostro sarà tutta Sibilia, conosce Bartolo, il birbo Figaro. It's st I, I still like it a bit tighter. It's still a bit Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Figaro. Yeah, there you go. One more time. Tutta Sibilia, conosce Bartolo, il birbo Figaro, vostro sarà tutta Sibilia, conosce Bartolo, il birbo Figaro, vostro sarà il birbo Figaro, vostro sarà il birbo Figaro. Good. Um, and I think, actually, when you start, like, Il Birbo Figaro, you could start it even a little bit less if you want, but keep the intensity in it. Yeah. But then you actually, you can make the crescendo through, you know. Through the whole Il Birbo, Il Birbo Figaro, Figaro. Sarà, keep going, Il Birbo Figaro, or start, restart, kind of. What? Oh, you mean restart dynamically? Yeah. No. Keep going. I, I, I would, yeah. Long I would sort of crescendo. keep it under... Under wraps, il vero vostro sarà, and then it's the second phrase is where you can make the crescendo. Vostro sarà il birbo figaro. Il birbo, then 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 you go. Okay. Gotcha. Otherwise, it's a big, it's a great long shout to the end. <laughs> oh, well, let's do tutta Sevilla one more time. That was good. And of course, if if to make the dotted rhythm, if you can sing the E of Figaro a bit longer. Il, uh, uh, oh, I was sort of coming off the middle Figaro, of yeah. Figaro, yeah. rather than Figaro, Figaro. Yeah. Yeah, tutta Sevilla. Tutta Sevilla conosce Bartolo, il birbo Figaro. Good. Vostro sarà tutta Sibilia, conosce Bartolo, il birbo Figaro. Good. Vostro sarà il birbo Figaro, vostro sarà il birbo Figaro, vostro sarà.
good. And he strides out the door. The masterclass with Andrew was different because it was much more intimate, because it was, you know, the lights around us sort of black everything out around it, so it, it felt like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think one of the most validating things was him reminding me of the instincts that I already have that maybe I was second-guessing or afraid to do in the first place. This art form that you are pursuing is one that is full of details, right? And that hearing from someone who's had such experience with this piece and knows many of those details very, very well, I think it's gotta be really valuable. I was thinking about the exact same thing, about how at one point, Sir Andrew Davis was my age, learning these types of things, and he learned it from somebody that he really looked up to, uh, and they learned it from somebody they really looked up to, and at one point, it links all the way back to the information coming from Mozart himself, which is so cool, and he's had much more time to think about this opera than I have, it's so much easier to absorb information and to be vulnerable and like take some risks when somebody is as kind as he is. I just think that's, for me at least, a better method and I was struck by how kind he was. Yeah. All right, that was that, very good. Thank you. That's excellent. I appreciate yeah. it. It was fun working with you. Great. Yes, thank you so That's much. Terrific, pleasure. Look forward to working with you some more eventually. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do this in four, okay. just in case you were wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good. So the second phrase, so, donne vedete, in general, if, if you start that phrase a little less, sure. then you can have a little di, da, da, di, so, so rather than don, do, do, you can be a little softer with the D. Yeah. Rather than going do, donna vedete, sio nel so, so, you know, the, the little phrases can have more shape. Yeah. And, um, and again, it's not so much And then really nice and so, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's all legato-ish, but mm -hmm. what I'd like to hear more of. Quello proio provo, vi ridi, and ridirò. Again, yeah. the text a little bit more. Now, this, is, this A flat is so nice, you know. If you could just sort of colour that somehow. Yeah. And this one, um, a gelo e più sento, you want to make that nice and full. For one thing, actually, it's quite, uh, you know, the, the, the accompaniment is re relatively light. You've got um, four woodwinds and two horns, mm -hmm. but they are all playing there. <laughs> and then again, when you st start the ricercuna bene fuori di me. Then you can um, start that a little bit lighter. 
Yeah. And then, of course, sospire je, esser voler. It wants to be very urgent, without changing the tempo, obviously, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's, it's, it's sort of more breathless. Sospire je, senza voler, palpito, again, palpito, make, make more of the uh, consonant. Palpito tremo, senza saper, non trovo pace, no te ne di, ma pur mi piace. And then from here, languir così doli. Yeah, you know, one can overdo it, mm -hmm. but, but I think it's, uh, it needs it there. And then I love the way you started this kind of, uh, when you went back to the, the tune, you thought it was light, and I think Great. that's pretty. Let's do it one more time. Yeah. Uh, yes. And actually, it's a little thing, but uh, you know, he, he writes a. I was, I was going to say a crotchet. <laughs> he, he writes a quarter note, mm -hmm. and I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with doing exactly what he says. Yep. There's a couple of bars, Chris. Would you? Okay. Got a double L, so of course you have to do it. Well, oh, but 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 yeah. Just to do on evidence. Again, sento un affetto. affetto. Mm -hmm. uh, just use that. Use the um, double F. Do a quello non che io provo. Good, yeah. L'alma vampa, vampa, torno gelad. So give us a, you know, I go back, I warm up and then I go back to being freezing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's that marvelous Elizabethan poem. The, the line, last line of each, there are two long stanzas, and it says, it's uh, whose, whose heart with fear doth freeze with love doth fry. <laughs> and so, yeah, you want to be, you, you, you use the gelar a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Torno a gelar. Sento un ofeto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sento un ofeto, pien di Yes. 
a Ginnar. Yeah, Torno a Ginnar. Torno, oh, yeah. Yeah. Really, all the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yep. Mm -hmm. En un momento. En un momento, Torno a Ginnar. Yes, good. Sospire, sospiro e gemo. So this is let, not not sospiro e gemo, sospiro e gemo. Uh -huh. Senza voler, so a little more syllabic. Mm -hmm. Palpito e tremo, senza saper. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and, and then this is the, the climax of what you, you say. Non trovo pace. <laughs> right. You're desperate. Non trovo pace. Not in, I can't find peace by day or by night. Mm -hmm. Ma, ma pur mi piace languir così. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I'm actually loving this torment. Yes, right. That's, uh, and that's why then, that, again, the D-flat of the languir is so marvellous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Non trovo pace notte di ma pur mi piace e languir così. <laughs> you yes. know, oh, this pain, is, it's all torture, but it's delicious torture, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> it's this sort of, Teenagers, <laughs> you know, being just tormented by these raging hormones, you right. know, and, and you can't get enough of the female sex. It's tormenting you, but at the same time, it is sensual, you know, and that's, right. that's what I want to get this. Long, Richard Cornwell, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, so ricerco un bene fuori di me, I'm, I'm looking for something beautiful outside myself, right, fuori di me. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ricerco un bene Don't push. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, that, that almost. Non trovo pace notte di ma pur. So oh. it just change the color from there. Yeah. Ma pur mi piace. Yes. So we want to get that sense of. Yeah. Uh, Sospire, Gemma. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Sospire, Gemma. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, Gemma. Sospire, Gemma. One more time. Sospiro e gemo senza voler, palpito e tremo senza saper, non trovo pace notte di di, ma pur mi piace languir così. Yes, I'm not quite getting what I'm <laughs> sorry to me. Oh no. E pur mi piace languir. Use yeah. the L. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. But that's all much better. Sospiro e gemo? Sospiro e gemo, senza voler, palpito e tremo, senza saper, non trovo pace notte di di, ma pur mi piace l'angue così. Oh.
That's good, yeah. Um, Don't even it, see core. I think that, you know, sometimes making the quarter notes exact is good. Sometimes you can linger on them a little bit. This is, see on el core. Lovely. Great. Does that feel different? It really does. Yeah. Yes. Everybody knows this aria, you know, and, and the, the, just melodically, it's so irresistible. Yeah. But but the trick is to find, you know, it's not just a pretty song. It's it's finding those little subtleties that had a much more, where well, had much more range. You yeah. know, I fe I've felt the text more. I mean, that that's always with well everything you sing really. Yeah. The text is so important. As a participant in master classes, what do you find uh, the most helpful? What do, what do you gain the most from them? As a participant, if I can um, make a good impression and show that I'm adaptable, as well as walk away with some tools in my tool belt, that's, that's the best type of master class experience. The Marriage of Figaro is certainly kind of a pillar of operatic repertoire. What is it about the piece that really appeals to you? I think it's particularly special for me because I started learning or, or watching arias from Cherubino and, um, you know, looked up to people like Frederica von Stade and it's just kind of like burned into my soul in the best way for the longest time. But I also think the piece itself is really special because it's just one of the most beautiful marriages of libretto and and music, I think, that exists in the repertoire. And it's, it's complex, and it's real, and it's human, and it's also told with a lot of humor and a lot of heart at the same time. In the piece, each character has their own flaws and their own positive traits that come through very clearly, and every character learns from one another. Like everything with Mozart, it, do, you know, it doesn't all just sit down and, and you listen to a pretty Aria. It actually uh, it does something to, to move the, the drama or the relationship between the characters. Okay, Thank super. You. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs>